In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to open Panopto in Blackboard, and we'll look at some of the navigation inside of it. I'll select Panopto Course Tool from my menu bar. Panopto will launch, and as it launches, we'll see that we're greeted with a Panopto content screen. We also have a search field for inside the folder, and that folder should match our course name. We also have the ability to create additional folders, and I would strongly recommend that you do this for your course. I can add a folder such as week one videos and select enter to confirm it. And I would encourage you to do this for all of your weeks so that your uh, videos aren't all over the place. If I need to add an additional folder, I can do week two videos but let's say I want to remove week two video folder. How would I do that? What I would do is I would select the folder and when I select week two video folder, this name at the top will change. Now you can see that week two video folder is what we're looking at. What I'll do is I'll navigate over to my folder settings or the gear icon on the right hand side. I'll go down to manage and you'll notice that at the top it still says week two video. Now I can delete the folder. It would delete the data with that, so do be careful here. I'll get a prompt. I'll say OK. And now you can see that I no longer have a week two folder available here. The next thing I'd like to do is direct your attention to the right hand side couple of things that you should be aware of that are over here. Um, the first one is the share icon. When you select the share icon, you'll see that this links us directly back to our uh, root folder. We can access this also in our folder settings. The one after that is the folder stats. And if we were to select on a particular folder, it doesn't matter what it is, and select this, what we would see are the analytics. This is uh, particularly powerful for the instructors that want to know a little bit more about what's happening in their course and how videos are being viewed and received. You'll also notice that you can download some reports at the bottom. Uh, for instance, you can download views and downloads by a particular day, who your top viewers are, and how many users have completed it. So there's a lot of uh, valuable information here that you can use. We can also see the amount of minutes delivered in this report. So I strongly encourage you to take a look at this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to back out to the Panopto again. Uh, we've already talked about the settings folder. So once again, you have a variety of menus in settings. Then next to this, we have the subscribe in Apple Podcasts and the subscribe to an RSS. Basically, these are if you want to push out announcements about podcasts um, that are available. I doubt most of you will use this, but it is a possibility. And lastly, I want to direct your attention to this square with an arrow pointing towards the upper right. This is open in Panopto. And what's going on here essentially is we are using Panopto as a tool that is working inside of Blackboard right now. However, it is possible to open Panopto inside of Panopto and not open it into Blackboard. I'll go ahead and select this so you can see this. You'll notice that my browser tab at the top now has directed me straight into Panopto. And it um, essentially looks the same here. Okay. So some things that we might do with this that are a little bit different, um, just in terms of the creating, uh, there's the ability to do a couple of extra features here. One of them is to do webcasting. And the other big one is to build a session. And we're going to look at this in later videos. But this is essentially where you will do any kind of video editing and audio editing and combining of different slides and things like that. So if you're really looking to ramp up your project, this is actually done from here. With that said, we'll close out 
this session, and we'll look forward to bringing you more content in the next video. I hope that you found this tutorial useful. For more information, please visit us at the Faculty Center for the Advancement of Teaching and Learning.